हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन सो दिस क्वेश्चन वाज आस्क्ड इन अ एसक्यूएल इंटरव्यू फॉर अ डेटा इंजीनियर पोजीशन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस यूजिंग टू मेथड्स आम जिंदगी वर्सेस मेंटोर जिंदगी व्हिच मींस आम सॉल्यूशन नॉर्मल सॉल्यूशन एंड वन ट्रिकी सॉल्यूशन वन वेयर यू विल लर्न सम ट्रिक न्यू ट्रिक ओके सो दैट विल बी माय मेंटोर सॉल्यूशन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन गेम ऑफ थ्रोन्स डेटाबेस सो गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड फन ओके सो हेज द क्वेश्चन यू आर गिवेन अ डेटा बेस अबाउट बैटल्स इन द पॉपुलर टीवी शो गेम ऑफ थ्रोन्स द डेटा बेस कंटेन्स टू टेबल्स बैटल एंड किंग ओके सो लेट मी टेक यूर दिक्वल सर्वर वेयर आई विल शो यू सम डेटा एंड द एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट सो हेर इज माई सिक्वल सर्वर सो वी हैव टू टेबल्स एज वी सॉ दे इज अ बैटल टेबल एंड दे इज अ किंग टेबल इन बैटल टेबल आई हैव ऑल द बैटल्स राइट द नेम ऑफ द बैटल who was the attacker who was the defender and the attacker outcome which means if the attacker has won attacker outcome will be 1 if the defender has won so if the attacker outcome is 0 it means the defender has won so for the first battle attacker king 1 has won right for the second battle attacker outcome is 0 which means this defender king 4 he has won and we have the reason as well right where the battle took place and then we have the king's information that each king is from which house right so king 1 2 3 4 5 6 the king name and the house so the question says for each region find house which has one maximum number of battles right in each region so we have the each region information in each region we have to find the house which has one maximum number of battles and we need to display each region that house which has won uh, maximum battles in that region and the number of wins by that house okay i hope the question is clear this is the output format now the challenge here is that we have the attacker and defender both the columns in this table and based on the attacker outcome we have to decide that this win is from which house so for example for the battle one attacker king is one and attacker outcome is one which means that attacker outcome is 1 so attacker king has 1 which is 1 so this win will go to house star in the north region right in the north region this win will go to house star let's look at the second example in this battle of black water the defender has 1 so defender king is 4 because attacker outcome is 0 so defender king is 4 for is balen gray joy he belongs to house gray joy so this win will go to the house gray joy in the north season and similarly all the battles and we have to find again in each season which house has won maximum battles okay so let's start with the first solution i will call it as normal solution okay so let's take it here solution 1 normal solution or aam zindagi now here what we will do we will separate these two columns so first we will take all the wins from this column right in the second we will take all the wins from this column right and we will do a union so let's start by the way i have put the in the description box create table insert table if you want to try out you can try out but do watch my mentor zindagi solution that is really cool okay so select attacker king let me put the table name so that the column names will come automatically battle and then we need the attacker king right and we need the reason right and we will say where attacker outcome equal to 1 right so i am interested in only in wins who has won so i am taking attacker king right if the outcome is 1 right so all of those rows i will get i don't need anything else i don't need battle number i don't need name i don't need the reason i need reason because in each reason i have to find so i have taken reason so i need these two columns right so basically these are the four wins by attacker right attacker king 1 1 1 attacker king 3 and this is the reason similarly i will take the defender one so i'll say defender king right and where well, attacker outcome is zero which means defender has won so i'll get all the wins from the defender and the reason right and i will simply union them so i will get all the wins so i will say union all right so if i do union all 
I got all the wins, right? Now let me rename it to king as just king because this is just a king name now, a king ID. Let me create a CT and say with wins as this. So this is all the wins. Select star from wins, right? And let me quickly run this again. Okay, so these are all the wins. King 1, King 4 or whatever. Now what I have to do? I have to just join it with the king's table so that I get the house name because I need the house name, right? Because in each region, I need to find the house which has most wins. I'll say select the star from wins. Let's call it W. And then inner join. I'm doing inner join because we will have all the kings. We know all the kings in the king table. So inner join will work. So W dot king on, sorry, on W dot king equal to k dot king number right so let me just take w dot and then i will take k dot just to show you all the columns right so if i just do this i got all the information king one right king number one king and the house right and we have the reason information as well so this is pretty much what i need to do now i just need to take i need the reason right so i will take reason I need the house. House is coming from <coughs> this, right? And I'll take count star as number of wins and just do group by group by reason and house, right? So this is the granularity that we need. Okay, so we got this. Uh, so for for example, if you see, let me order by reason, order by these two columns again, just to have a clarity. Okay, so in the north, house of Stark has won two battles, right? So he should be there in the output. In the in the in the uh, in each region, okay. So in the reach, if you see these both house have won one one battle, so both will come in the output. And in the riverlands, there are this house Barathon has two wins so he will come in the output right so i can simply take rank uh, simply take rank here so i will say rank over partition by partition by w dot reason right because for each reason i want an order by number of wins in descending order okay so let me quickly run this and let me call it as rn and run this so if you see if you see number of wins one right number of wins two so let me do order by this time let's remove order by we will get the right right order automatically okay so if you see in the north the star has gone rank one right in the in the reach both have got one one so we will take both right again in the river land this guy has got rank one because highest will get rank one so now i can say select star from this subquery or you can create another cet it's up to you we have to give name of the subquery uh, the alias it is mandatory in sql server where r n equal to one and that will give me the answer right that will give me the answer so in each in each reason i got the house with the highest win and number of wins in case of tie nothing is there in the quotient so we are taking both and that's why i have taken rank instead of row number because row number we would have given one and two so if there is a tie in the quotient if they say if there is a tie then take alphabetical order the first one then we have to use row number or in the order by whatever you want to put the house as well so you can do that okay so this is my first methods let's move on to the mentors zindagi and you will learn some new trick here okay so let's take both the tables again select star from battle and select star from king right okay okay so now if you look at carefully we have one more tricky thing we can do here we have all the wins here, right? In each of the battle, one of them has won. What we only need is we need the house. 
so somehow if i get the house name here for each battle right so in this battle whoever is one if i get based on the win win king if i get the house here that will do for me right so what i will do i will say select the star from battle let's call it b right and i will say inner join king now see what join i will be doing inner join doing king on right now k dot k dot k number which is fine so i want to join with k dot k number but i want to join with this or this right so i want to join with the person who has won because i am interested only in wins so in this case based on attacker outcome i can either join with this or this so if the attacker outcome is 1 i will say join with attacker king if the attacker outcome is 0 i will say join with defender king right if i do something like that then the purpose will solved here so i will say equal to and i will say case when attacker outcome equal to 1 then use column attacker king right else use column defender king and end so this is kind of case when statement i am using in the join condition directly so now if you look at it carefully again b dot star dot k dot star right let me run this and show you so if you see in the battle one attacker king one has one and the join is doing with king number one and we got the house information again if you see second one here the defender king has one four so we are joining with four in the king table and we got the house right so we got all the information now pretty much right what we need is what we need is let me copy paste from here directly we don't need to work so much so i'll just say let me copy this completely okay and i'll just do little changes here okay so i'll just use this control c and use this right and we have we have uh, battle b just we need to change some aliases that's it everything else will work okay and that's all and i think we are pretty much good let me run this uh reason could not be bound uh there is some problem so w is not there right w we need to remove it is coming from battle table right yeah that's it that's it so w is not there it didn't give me error as well but pretty much that's it so in the north house stark in the reach we have both of them and in the riverland we have barathon which has one too so i just replicated the same query just instead of union doing union i use this case statement to get all the data okay i hope this helps let me know if you liked my second solution and if you have if you have a better solution do let me know in the comment section i would love to check it thanks for watching have a good day